All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing a video giving my thoughts on Fear of the Walking Dead being renewed officially by AMC for season three. So I'll put the link in the description from both Seriable.com as well as IGN so you guys can go ahead and check them out for yourself. Um, apparently right after they found out the ratings for uh, Season 2's premiere, they went ahead and AMC has renewed it for Season 3, which will be 2017, you know, at this point. Because this season, of course, 2016 just started last weekend and it's going to be going through. It's going to have probably a break halfway after about episode probably 7 or 8. Then we'll come back in the break after the break and, uh, you know, we'll get the second half of the season. Next year, I'm assuming they'll probably go somewhere around the same time frame for season three. Probably start it after season seven of The Walking Dead ends and have it kind of be what I've kind of felt like fear was, which is kind of like a feeder show, which is basically where... You have, you know, you have the big show, you have The Walking Dead, it's been a huge hit for AMC. They quickly did Talking Dead, which was uh, in season two, they started doing Talking Dead of uh, The Walking Dead, and now we're getting Fear, and then in addition, you're getting Talking Dead for Fear after. So season three is also going to have uh, Chris Hardwick and uh, Talking Dead after each episode as well, just like season two is going to. So uh, the numbers for... Um, Season 2, Episode 1, the premiere, were actually pretty good. According to the wiki, they were listed at uh, 6.67 uh, million viewers, uh, which is actually right around where the first season ended of uh, Fear Dead. So the finale for Fear Dead Season 1 got 6.86. Um, the other links I've given you guys have a little bit different numbers, a little bit higher because they include, I think, different things. And there's a little bit of discrepancy with regards to, you know, um, what they include and uh, uh, age ranges and countries and things like that. But nonetheless, it's kind of cool to, to hear that they're going to renew it already. It, it means that the show is getting plenty for what it would need for them to continue it onward. So it's, it's getting far more than what they need. And for it to even have its own Talking Dead consistently really means that that's, uh, that's good. I mean, if you look at a lot of average AMC shows, a lot of them will be in the like, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million view range. But there are very few that get into this kind of range, which is kind of crazy to think that um, Fear of the Walking Dead is actually in the type of range where Breaking Bad was at near its prime. Now, some of the final episodes of Breaking Bad and that did do even, even better than what Fear's done so far, I'm pretty sure. But um, still, it's pretty amazing to think. And, uh, you know, I'm happy because I was thinking after the premiere for season two, I kind of felt like the season two premiere for Fear, in terms of what I saw online, in terms of interest, was a flop. But it looks like that's not the case. Even if, you know, The Walking Dead gets 15 million, you know, uh, views for its finale on AMC and Fear gets less than half of that, it's still plenty enough for AMC to be like, all right, let's do another season. Um, the quote is from, let's see here. Uh, Chris, or sorry, Charlie Collier, who's the president of AMC, says what Dave Erickson and Robert Kirkman have invented in quote-unquote Fear of the Walking Dead is to be uh, applauded. Watching Los Angeles crumble through the eyes of our characters and seeing each make decisions and try to figure out the rules of their new world, it's fresh, eerie, and compelling, and uh, we're all in for the ride. So that's, that's what uh, the... Um, the statement that was uh, that was put out with it uh, says so that's good news man you know i'm happy that fear is going to get another season i'm interested to see what happens in the second season and how good the show is consistently uh if you guys saw my review for the season two premiere you know that i liked it but i wasn't blown away by it uh, i still feel like it's not quite on the level of Walking Dead, and maybe it never will be for me, but maybe that's just because of kind of the nostalgia of where The Walking Dead started, you know, reading the comic book series first, and then after the comic book series, you know, the TV series starts, and then, you know, they both continue together. Uh, it's just been, you know, just my favorite series of all time for sure, and uh, I'm, I'm happy that they're, that they're doing more. I'm happy that we're getting to see Fear and to see what they can do with it in the future. Um, just so far, it hasn't it hasn't put me to the level that The Walking Dead was at at almost any point in time. Even the season one finale of Fear, I still feel like as, as amazing as that was, I, I still think the original Walking Dead, pretty much every season, almost every part, except for some of the weakest parts, if you compare like weakest to best, 
Um, aside from that, seasons as a whole, I pretty much go with uh, Walking Dead thus far. But we'll see what they have for us in the future for Fear. And I am happy to hear that they're going to be doing more because at least... At least we're getting more and, uh, you know, gives us more to talk about, gives us another show to kind of, um, you know, speculate on and, and give our thoughts on. Even though, of course, it's not fan interest is not, you know, at the same level uh, for fear as it is for the original Walking Dead. I still like it. I still enjoy it. And I'm happy to have it during the time of the year where there's, uh, there's n- not too much else on. So... Write your comments below, guys. Let me know what you think about Fear of the Walking Dead getting a third season. Let's see what they have for the end of season two. Let's see how we feel about this when season two has actually ended, you know, way later on this year. And uh, I'm still hoping to see that Fear can really stand on its own as its own, you know, incredible series like The Walking Dead does without having to kind of be a tie-on, if you guys know what I mean. So write your comments below. Let me know what you guys think about Season 3 and, and uh, how you're feeling about Fear, if you're still interested in it, or if you've kind of dropped it. I know there's a few people that weren't that interested in it. I'm definitely not going to drop it. Definitely going to continue to review it. And, uh, you know, hope hope it goes on for many seasons to come. Write your comments below, guys. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can go ahead and share, and you can favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, you can subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this quick kind of news announcement type video. See you guys again real soon for another another Q&A for The Walking Dead, and of course the review for episode 2 of season 2 of Fear, which will be tomorrow night. As always, it's Trev, saying peace. See you guys.